guys welcome back to my channel and happy Hanukkah happy Hanukkah guys it's finally time to decorate and get ready for my favorite holiday of the year except maybe Rosh Hashanah I'm tied between the two but I love Hanukkah and I'm so excited to get ready so welcome if you're new here my name is Marian I make videos about a mom about being a mom and being a Jewish mom and I would love to have you as one of my subscribers I just had a baby <laughs> he's two weeks old so if you're interested in like newborn content definitely subscribe to my little baby Zachary is napping right now so I thought I would take advantage of the time and get ready for Hanukkah or it's never going to happen. So this is my newest purchase of the year. It's from Target. I will link it. It's just a giant dreidel. <laughs> and then over there is all the Hanukkah stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of it. I just want to caveat that celebrating Jewish holidays and sharing that with you guys is my job. So <laughs> Not only um, do I have a lot of stuff because I absolutely love the holidays and love celebrating, I also get sent stuff and um, like I said, it's part of my job. So do not think that the average normal Jewish family has this much Hanukkah stuff hiding in their house. Um, I think this is a bit, a bit much, but I'm excited. So let's get into it. Let's start decorating and do all the Hanukkah stuff. Okay, so the first thing we really have to do is sort through all of that stuff, figure out what I actually want to decorate the house with. And then the other thing I have here is the, the other thing I have here is a big bag of presents that need to be wrapped. Um, I also might take you guys shopping with me because <laughs> even though I have a lot of stuff, there's still more that I need. <laughs> So I might try and bring you along for that. So I think I'm going to film this video over a few days. But first things first, let's go through those boxes. Okay, so in these boxes is a lot of random stuff. A lot of it is like DIYs and projects that I've done with the kids over the years that I want to save. And I have to think of a good way to like display all of that. Then we have our Hanukkah books, which I love putting out each year. Um, and then the rest of it is decor, decorations, stuff for gift wrapping, but a lot of it is really random or stuff that's been collected like year after year, which is nice. I like that, but it also makes it kind of a hodgepodge. <laughs> so I'm trying to like figure out how to make, make it all look a little bit more cohesive because in general, I really don't like clutter. <laughs> so when there's just too much going on, I just feel like it's just, just too much. Okay, I just found two things I want to share really quick. The first is this printout that says um, USPS, UPS, FedEx, DHL, Amazon. Please help yourself to a treat bag. So one thing that's really nice around the holidays um, because, you know, we're getting a lot of packages and these people are working really hard is just to leave out some like candy and treats um, for them. So yeah, I saved that. And then this is a letter that my synagogue growing up sent to me in college, they sent it to like everyone in their first year of college about the meaning of the holiday and how to be a light during this dark time. And I just loved it and saved it. And yeah, I've had it since December, 2004. <laughs> That's how much it's meant to be. So yeah, I keep this out every year. Okay, next up, it is time to wrap presents. If you guys haven't seen my What I Got My Kids for Hanukkah this year video, definitely check that one out because it's full of lots of ideas if you are shopping for little ones um, in your family or friend life. I also have videos from previous years. Some of my most popular videos are like best gifts, best toys for um, babies and toddlers and preschoolers, and I tend to make one every year. So I'll try and link those down below for you guys. Um, I absolutely love <laughs> wrapping presents. This is one of my favorite things. Let me know in the comments if you're the same way or if you hate it. I feel like it's a very divisive topic. Like <laughs> you either love or hate the chore of it. 
but I'm one of those who loves it and I love um, focusing on the present toppers, <laughs> the, like the little extra decor, decor bits that go on top of the presents. Um, and I also try to coordinate my wrapping paper because I'm a little bit extra. Um, because we kind of display the presents a little bit, I like for them to all look nice together. I get a ton of questions about how my kids like are fine with a bunch of presents in the room and not opening them and I always just tell them they're for decor like they're just decorations so they don't realize that they're actual real presents the only problem I do have though is my two-year-old um, since I filmed this video was really interested in the toppers and he knows what guilt is so those might not have lasted as long as I had hoped but other than that they're looking great so I was happy with how that turned out All right, guys, it's the next day. I still have not gone to actually decorate, but I have been doing present wrapping. And on that note, um, I just got the gifts that we're giving to the boys' teachers. I ordered them from Etsy, so I wanted to show them to you guys. So here they are, they're personalized mugs. I don't wanna like unwrap them too much, but basically they say the teacher's name on one side, and then it says teacher because Fabulous Miracle Worker isn't an official job. <laughs> but I actually ordered an extra one <laughs> for one of the teachers. I have two personalized ones for one teacher. But you know what? Being two weeks postpartum, I'm just proud of myself for ordering them. So yes, I ordered an extra and that's an expense. <laughs> that's a waste of money, but at least I got the teacher's gifts here. Okay, we'll check back, heading to Target, and check that off the list, show you guys what Hanukkah stuff they have, and then I will decorate today or tomorrow. Okay guys, they have so, sorry for my weird mask. <laughs> they have so much Hanukkah stuff. They have a whole, it's not even an end cap, it's a, it's an aisle. Okay, first up are these bags. Technically, they come with a Christmas one on the other side, but, this side's blue and white star, so that works for me. And the little window stick on, those are really cute. I like this one too. And the trays for the drip for the menorahs. Oh, and look at this. Those are so cute. And then I think I'm gonna pick these up for the boys. Look how cute, and their um, long sleeve, which is nice. Okay, then it was time to go back home to decorate, and y'all, I'm gonna blame this on my postpartum hormones, but basically, this is the craziest tonica decorating experience I've ever had, and um, what happened was, I just didn't like anything anywhere. <laughs> I decorated the family room, you can see here, my kids are running around, I like, I'm not in top physical shape yet, so everything was a bit of a struggle, but I just, it wasn't looking like how I wanted it to look, like, it was just a mess so basically also this banner which i absolutely love i'll link below um took me like 30 minutes to hang like even with the footage sped up like this you can see it was crazy um but you know just sometimes it goes like that even though i've used these things all in the past like it just wasn't coming together Okay, it's mid-project crisis mode, which <laughs> there's uh, some term that my, uh, someone I follow on Instagram called Busy Toddler. She's amazing. She has like a million followers. Anyway, she's, she has a term called like mid-project regret syndrome or something, and I'm in the midst of it. I don't like the way the family room fireplace is turning out. This is the problem. We have this big gorgeous stone fireplace but the stone just eats the decorations. Like I don't know if it's the color or something. Like, I wish our fireplace was just white because any decoration I put against it just gets eaten up. So this is what I got going on. Don't mind the little boys helping. I just I don't like it at all. So <laughs> My next thought is Corey what are you decorating? I'm decorating 
this backpack. Wow, that's a beautiful decorating backpack you got there. So my thought is, instead of decorating that room, which I always decorate that room, why not focus on the new dining room and sort of decorate there because I'm sure we'll host a Hanukkah meal in there. And it's way easier to decorate as a room because it's got the white surface of the table, the like light background walls. Is it crazy? And then of course the kitchen I like decorating as well. So we still have the, we still have decorations up from my little boy's bris. It's craziness here. We have like bris, um, my birthday, Thanksgiving, my husband's birthday, and Hanukkah within like three weeks. So that's what they were doing. This is what's going on with the present situation. So um, I was filming myself wrapping and like showing you guys how I kind of um, decorate them. These are all like the decorative bits I have. Almost all of the stuff is from Michael's. Um, but then I was like, okay, I need to stop filming so I can get it done. So I just wrapped a bunch and then I'm gonna maybe film me like just decorating them. Um, my little tip is I label them right here so it says like which kid what's inside because otherwise how would you remember some people do that like a number system but I don't do that and then I put all the teachers gifts in here but I'm nervous that putting it in here and putting it in the backpack is not going to cut it because they're going to break so I need to figure that out too a way to like just hand it to the teachers anyways um, a lot of these yeah are actually i've been looking for those dreidels um a lot of these decorations are actually christmas ornaments but i think they work perfectly as present toppers um, yes find it. please find what please find the one that i uh, that aren't gray so i mean so that aren't silver gold and a blue the dreidels that are not silver, gold, and blue. Yeah. Okay. Whew, I got I got work to do, guys. <laughs> All right, let me catch back up with you when I've figured out my life a little bit more. So, change of plans. Putting the presents over there. Gonna decorate the table. I'll I'll keep you updated. It's a giant fail of a day. It's a fail, guys. I am not getting it together. I got nothing. I mean, just. It looks terrible, but <laughs> this is always how it is for me. Like, I I don't think I really show this in my videos, but every time I'm getting ready for holiday, even though I'm using like mostly the same stuff as the year before, it just it looks terrible. <laughs> and then slowly I get it to get better. So if you are decorating and you're like, oh my goodness, just give it give it a pause, <laughs> come back to it, keep trying. Usually what I do is at this point, I'll go on Pinterest and be like, okay, what am I even aiming for right now? Get some inspiration. Like first I just take everything out. I just throw it like where I think maybe it should go. Then I'm like, no, that looks terrible. Then I'll go to Pinterest and be like, let me get some more inspiration. And then I'll kind of come back. Hopefully I'll come back <laughs> and fix this. And my baby's got to eat. All right, I'll, I'll come back. So this is where I took a break from the decorating and went back to present wrapping because that just soothes my soul and for some reason I find it a lot easier. Um, so I was just finishing off all the present toppers that we had. I'm trying to make each present look really special and beautiful and to me that like is part of the gift. You know, it shows that you care and just one of my favorite things. And now back to the actual decorating. Hanukkah is saved. <laughs> it's saved, guys. Yay! My husband actually did it. Um, he had the vision. I was like, I can't anymore. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. He said he would do it for me, and he did. I just changed it a tiny bit, just so we're keeping 100% honest. He had something on the right side, too, that I didn't like. But anyways, <laughs> it's perfect, and I love it. I got the giant dreidel all the presents down there and all the 
all the beautiful Hanukkah decor. So that's the main area decorated for Hanukkah. We have the hot chocolate station, which I'll show you guys, and just a little bit in the dining room and the kitchen. The kitchen, I know we'll have our actual Hanukkiahs, menorahs, when we actually light them. So um, right now, the island's empty because it will have that. And then I've got the little banner over here just to finish off the space. So that is it. We are pretty much ready for Hanukkah. The only thing left to, the only thing we really have left to do is like food stuff. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Um, you know, we only have a two week old right now, so <laughs> we are not like hosting any Hanukkah parties or anything like that, but I'm sure our family will come over. Or we'll go over there. Or something like that so I will be vlogging Hanukkah I promise in some way shape or form I will be doing vlognica it's my favorite favorite to capture because I don't really vlog during the year so it's nice to once a year capture those memories so definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss those videos thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one bye